So here I have my scatter template that I have done. The scatter template hat takes SS20, SS6, SS20, SS16, and SS10 or 12. My favorite glue to use is the E6000 Fabri Fuse. Uh, try to avoid really liquid glues. They just make a mess. You need like a gel glue, a tacky glue. You can use, um, these stencils are heat resistant. So you can use a hot fix applicator. You can also use them in a t-shirt press. If you're going to use a t-shirt press, I use them at a 150 degrees at, for no longer than 50 seconds. I then remove the stencil and then I might press it for longer if I think it needs it. Always put a piece of fabric or some baking paper or some Teflon paper over the top so that you don't put the heat directly onto the stencil. So you can see this is an even scatter um, of the three different sizes, but you could just do an SS20, you could just use it for SS16 or SS, the smaller SS1012, just for something lighter. Um, the trick is to put your glue right in the center of the circle and not be too heavy handed. If you're too heavy handed with the glue, you get it on the stencil, it can be a bit tricky to um, pull the stencil away. Also, also make sure that you're putting that rhinestone right in the hole and not overlapping onto the stencil. If you are using a very sticky glue like the E6000, uh, it's a very sticky and fast drying glue, the E6000 Clear, you might find that you have to uh, check and pull your stencil away every now and then just to make sure that those rhinestones are not sticking to the stencil and your stencil is not sticking to your fabric. It's really important that no matter which glue you use, you're always keeping the end of the nozzle really clean because once you get a bit of glue buildup, then you are creating, it's more difficult to get a clean effect. Same with the E6000 Fabric Fuse. I'm always keeping that end clean. And with this, I'm literally just flat fabric. You can do it straight onto a dress if, or um, dance wear. But if you're gonna do it straight onto a garment, you need to use a stretching board. A stretching board you can buy online or just use cardboard. Um, some people use cushions. They'll put the garment over a cushion and stretch it over. I really do recommend working on a flat surface. So a large piece of cardboard, stretch the fabric over, pin your pins into the cardboard and keep your fabric stable. And you are literally just have to be really measured with the glue. If you're too heavy handed and you get glue on the stencil, it makes for a sticky mess. You're just dotting inside the circle. Once you have finished, you just pull your stencil away. La! And it's super easy, super pretty. There you go. Well, I've lost one. Where is he? Stuck to the stencil. That's why you have to be a little bit lighter handed with the glue. There we go. So that is the stencil in the three different sizes. There we go, like stardust. <laughs>